hello automation anywhere lovers welcome back to kt sessions and in today's session we are going to see how can we use json in our automation anywhere a360 task boards so guys this is the json which we are gonna use uh, in our program in our uh, task board so uh, there is an array called employees and uh, containing and it contains object representing individual employees so uh, this is our uh, array employee and it contains object uh, this is the first object this is the second and this is the third object and each object contain a uh, detail of an employee individual employee and each employee contains key pair key value pairs for attributes such as id name positions department salary and join date okay Similarly, we have uh, dates, uh, details for another employee. Yeah, so let's move to the task board. I have created this task board. And in this, we are going to use this uh, JSON. So when we go to action palette, uh, we can see this JSON package. And it contains four action, start session, end session, get node value and get node list okay so in this uh, kt session we will see like how can we get the value of this array how can we get the value of this key and how can we like traverse or how can we loop over this uh, data means we want to process the data of each employee so how can we process that or if we need name of each employee how can we do that so all these things we will see in this session okay so first of all we will create a uh, session for this json and for creating a session we will use this start session action and uh, it will create a new json session based on json file or specified text okay so either we can pass a file uh, which contains our json or we can directly uh, hard code the json here so i have uh, hard coded this json here and uh, we have assign a session name uh, that will be a local session okay the next action will be get node value so if we want to get a node value means node we are uh, uh, calling this uh, array name or this key name as a node okay so if we need a value of a node for example if we need value of id so we can give the uh, json node key or path here so key means uh, this is the key id contains one and if you want to give the path of uh, for example if we give id so it will take one uh, the value of id will be one but we want to get the value of uh, this id second id okay so we need the uh, value of the second id or the employee second employee's id so in that case we have to give the path that will be employee id and the uh, index of the id because this employee is an array let me uh, disable all this code okay so after getting this node value we will end the session we need to just give the session name only so these three actions we are going to use so let me run the board and uh, in this uh, we are going to extract the value of uh, this employees node and employees is an array so the value contains all this thing all this we will get to this value let me add a message box so that we can see the value of that uh, uh, node we, uh, we are saving the uh, outcome into a variable which is sample string so i am uh, printing the value of sample string after getting it so let me run the board there we go we can see the value of this employees array like i mentioned it will contain this value from this uh, square bracket through this closing square bracket okay so now let's see how can we extract the value of a key so here key is a id so if i give id here and let me run the board 
we are getting this error unsupported no type provided in the session so this id in line number three uh, uh so in line number three we have given this id okay but we have this id in our json but why is it saying like unsupported or not because this id is the part of this array okay employees array so we have to give the path complete path employees dot id okay this employees and array we have to mention which id we need so we need id which is at zeroth look index means this id this is 0 1 and 2 so this is an array so this is the zeroth index this is second and this is third oh, sorry this is zero first second okay now run the board so here we go we can see one because the value of the id is one see similarly if we want to extract this value so we will give the second index means 0 1 2 okay so this is how we can extract any value using this path okay but now we want to process all the values means first we want need record of first employee then we need record of second employee so in that case we will use a loop stage let me show you first uh, extract this id of second employee see three the value of the id is three for second employee okay uh now let's see if uh, let me uh disable this uh, we are not using this action anymore uh, let me delete this action okay and delete this as well to avoid confusion okay delete this as well now the another action was get node list node list first we were using node value now we are getting node list so it will give the list of the node means if we have this employees so we will uh get the list means the uh, first element of the list will contain this one second element will contain this third element will contain this so we will get the three records in our list or three items in our list okay so again we will start a session we will get a node list okay so this uh, outcome we are going to save in a list uh, which is a uh, which is of string type okay and we will end the session okay after that we will loop over that list the list was a and we will uh, loop for uh, all the items in the list and we are saving the uh, current value or the current uh, thing in the sample string okay so when we run the board okay so uh, it will get all node list and the first item of the list will contain this one this uh, uh the date of the first employee and we'll get this first date of first employee in a, a a string variable which is sample string okay so in the loop we will start a session again so this session is ended we have got the list so this is ended so we will start the session now we will get the node value whatever value we need we will get the node value for example we need uh, id so we will get the id in that case we are in this case we are giving id only because the json which we are using in this session that is sample string and sample string contains only this value means value of the first uh, first employee then it in second iteration of the loop it will contain the value of this and so on okay so now we can use this uh i mean if we need that any data of this uh employee first employee or second employee so we can get this data okay and we can perform our operations or whatever and then we at the end we can uh, close the session okay so let me show you uh let me get a message box so we will uh so instead of hiding let's uh print name then uh let me tell you what we are doing here first we are doing uh first we are creating a session and in this case we are using this json the whole json which uh, we have okay in second step we are uh, getting the list of node a list of all the nodes in this employees ticket okay? and uh, we will get a list and uh, then we will 
use a loop stage and for each item in the list we will get the first item in the sample string means each item uh, one by one we will get the uh, item in the sample string so in first uh, step let's see what we will get okay So we got the record uh, the data of first employee as I was saying we will get this data okay for John we got this line number seven we are getting node value and we have given name okay name John and in message box we are printing that name so in next message box we will get the name so let me close this message box. see we got the name similarly uh, if i close this we will get the date of second employee in second iteration of the loop and we will get the name of second employee similarly we will get the date of third employee so this is how we can uh, traverse over all the data and we can get uh, the value of any node whichever is required for our for our pro further processing or we can get that uh, uh, value of all the nodes uh, so we can use multiple uh, action uh, these get node value actions and uh, we can get the value of name of uh, position department salary whatever so we can perform our further action and at the end we can end the session and again it will uh, start the session we, we are starting the session uh, again and again means for each iteration we are starting the session because every time our json is different in first iteration it contains the date of first employee so this is the json in first session in the second session this is the json and in third session this is the json so this is how we can uh, use json package and it's all the action and we can traverse over all the json and all so guys thank you so much for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question i will help you and uh, you can uh, let me know if you need video on any specific topic or any content. Thank you guys.